Right, I'm going to go through a couple um, of things. Um, basically, I'm going to go through a few bits of um, makeup that I have got basically in front of um, myself right now. And a few things I've also got in my bags as well. Um, basically, these are going to be the 30% off. Um, from the deals that we have got from Unique. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things. I haven't actually tried this one out just yet. Hope that this light is a little bit um, is a little bit better. And what I also did as well is I also bought is some different type of um, pads as well. Now normally I'd go for the Kabuki brush, or my favourite one would be the sponge. But I'm actually going to be going for this one for a bit of a change. Now, I haven't been putting on my eyebrow pencil for a little um, while. But I just want to see what would happen if I put this one on. This one is basically is called Opaline. Um, and it is basically a foundation stick. But as you can see, it is a quite a very, very dark... Um, it's almost like bronzer, isn't it? Like a, light, a really, really dark bronzer. So I'm going to see how this turns out. And I really, really hope it turns out really, really well. <laughs> hope. So far, it's very... So far, it's very, very dark. Okay. So what I'm doing now is again, like I said, I'm going to try this pad out. This is not a new, a unique pad. This is actually a different type of pad. Put your fingers in it. So I'm just going to try and see if this works. If this doesn't work, then I know it's a massive, massive big fail. Which, by the way, it is not doing anything at all right now. I think it costs something like 75p, something like that. And it's not really... I'm not impressed with it. I think they are massive big failures. So I'm going to go for my usual that I usually go for. See how this one turns out. No, I just like I got a lot of dirt all over my face. This doesn't seem to be turning out. Can't always turn out fantastically well, can they, makeup? Hmm. I don't know if it's turned out well. I mean, it looks like it's disappearing on my face. It's hard to tell, to be honest. I don't think it's done anything at all. Maybe it's made my face a bit more sparkly. Hmm. Can't be impressed with everything. And I cannot see a dawn change at all. Unless you lot can, if you lot can see a change with that one, then please tell me. Comment down below. If it's made any changes, otherwise, I'm not just gonna go for something else. I haven't used this one for ages, and I mean ages. Right, so I've just gone and blotted my face up with these two. They are thirty pounds um, each. Just gone and blotted my face up with them two. So what I'm gonna do now is, um. use the one that I always go for. And then after this, I'm going to put it in even more so, but normally, when I do this one, I normally prefer this one than anything else. Right, so now I'm just going to put on some, uh, basically, eye primer. 
and then I'm going to put on some skin perfecting concealer. This one obviously goes on to the top of your eyes, this one goes underneath. So, what I'm going to first do is show you first of all is my eye primer. The first one, if I haven't run out of it already. <laughs> Right, so now I've got some of it out. Right, the first thing I love, absolutely love doing with this part, part is getting hold of my smaller one and actually going in and making sure that there's no lines and that it's all around. I'm feeling a hermit. Right there, and I can't seem to get the bugger out. Right, so there we go. That is the um, that is the first one is the eye primer. Right, so what I'm doing right now is putting on is my concealer for underneath to get rid of. The darkness yeah, underneath depending on how you want to do it right so as you can see I have already done the first eye so now I am basically I have I've been rubbing in at the eye, but what I've been doing is dabbing it. And then now I'm patting it in so that it will, in a way, now blend in with the rest of me now. There we go. Yeah. That's now gone in quite nicely. That has now, even though it looks very, very bright on here, he actually isn't actually as bright as it looks off camera. Believe it or not, it really, really doesn't. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is, with the Unique Big Brush, I can't remember what it's called anymore because the name is actually now Powder Puff. It's my, one of my really, really great brushes. And this as well, okay. I, I've been asked this question numerous of times. Which one would I prefer? Would I prefer the spray or would I prefer the powder? I actually prefer is the powder. Believe it or not, I do. I'm supposed to really shake it off when you're doing it. But I don't always do that. 